In Tableau 22.3, Tableau have improved the sharing experience by checking whether someone has permissions and giving you the flexibility to actually give them permissions when you share. Let's get stuck in and find out how that works. Here I'm in a workbook that I uploaded in 21.2. It's a super old workbook. But if we go to the permissions before I hit the sharing button, you'll see that I have explicitly denied access to one of the versions of me on this test account. So when I try and share this asset with this person, I should see a pop up saying, hey, would you like to give this person permissions? So let's go ahead and hit close and we'll go to the three dots next to the Superstore title, select share, and now we can start typing the name of that person. In this case, it's my full name. I'll go ahead and select Timothy. I won't necessarily add a message here, but I'll just go ahead and hit share. And this time when I do that, in 22.3, it pops off this nice new interface. It gives me three options. I can, of course, dismiss the box. That will give them a bad experience because they'll go click the link I've shared and they won't have access. In fact, they've been blocked from looking at it. So they'll think Tableau's broken or they'll think, why do I not have access if you're sharing it with me? It's a very obvious uh, thing to ask for. Then you have two options. You've got the ability to manage permissions. What this effectively does is it opens the manage permissions box. So let's go ahead and hit that so you can just see that. It opens this up straight away and here I can change the permissions myself if I know what I'm doing. If you don't know what you're doing, by the way, check out my video on permissions. I go through this in all of the detail you need to be able to set this up and understand how this particular pane works. If I close this though, and we go back and we share it again, I'm getting lots of notifications in Slack at this point because I have that set up. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put uh, my name back on there, select Timothy, select share. I still don't have access, so this pop-up will come up because I didn't edit it the last time I select manage permissions. This time I'll select grant access, and what that does is it gives them the viewer permissions, essentially meaning they'll be able to view and interact with the dashboard and do everything a viewer should be able to see. You can affirm that by going to the permission setting here and having a look at that, and there you go. You can see that I've got the view permissions. And if you're ever in doubt, you can always evaluate the permissions by looking at the list of users below and selecting their name. So here you can see this is me. I've given myself permission. When I click on it, you'll see that it highlights the two permissions that I'm picking up requests from. You can see here, you've just got a very gentle highlight on the left hand side if I unclick that you see they disappear if I click it again they appear here on the left and what that means is that this user is getting permissions from these two groups now if you've seen my video on permissions you'll know that first tablet checks to see if the user has been given or denied access if they've been given access they get permissions if they've been denied access then they stop right there the next thing it will check is the group so if I deny user access explicitly up here it won't ever check to see if they're part of a group to see if they have access. So that's the order in which uh, permissions are checked. So uh, if we want to test this out, what we could do is we could remove this, delete this rule for this particular user. By uh, this setup, I now have access because if I click on this user, you see that it evaluates to all users. And now when I go to share, I shouldn't get any pop up because, of course, I have access already. So let's go ahead and type that in one last time. Select share, and this time it'll work just as you'd expect. So that's a very nice quality of life improvement for permissions. It's going to make it so much easier to uh, make sure project admins aren't running around checking permissions, setting up, just you know, giving everyone access when they need to. And actually, the default of setting a view is, a, I think, quite a healthy one. It means that people are just getting just the right level of access to be able to interact with the dashboard. And if they need to do more, then they can go through the usual steps. I would love to see that enhanced a little bit. So maybe some suggested permissions for that user by matching someone else. For example, I'd love to be able to say, give this user the same level of access as I have, because I think they should have that access. That would be a really nice sort of uh, setup. Or having a little drop down so that when you do share something in that little pop up, it's just immediately there, not having to go to another window to see that thing. So. Small things, small improvements, but I think it's a great feature all around. Now, if you haven't seen all the other videos in this playlist for 22.3, be sure to check them out. And uh, yeah, I think Zone Visibility is the video that everyone's loving. I think 5,000 5, people have watched that video, so go check that out. Um, but if you found this video useful, the obvious thing to do is hit like, subscribe, drop a comment below, and let me know what you think of the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.